If you've worked with cameras much, you probably know that the sensitivity of the digital sensor in the camera is referred to as ISO or ISO. You may have wondered why, and you may also have wondered which is it, ISO or ISO. Well, I'm gonna clear that all up for you. The term ISO actually goes back to film cameras and refers to the sensitivity of the film. There needed to be some standard way to refer to the sensitivity of the film, so how much it got exposed based on how much light came in. And so a numbering system was developed where the higher the number, the more sensitive the film was. That numbering system was developed by the International Organization for Standardization, which being an international organization, actually has many names. It has different names in different languages. However, this organization didn't want to use different names in different countries. They wanted to be equal across all countries. So instead of calling it the IOS or the OIN, which would be the French equivalent of that, or any of the other variations in different languages, to solve this problem, they actually came up with a single short name that would be used across all countries and all languages. And that name is ISO. ISO. It pretty much looks like an acronym, but it's really not. So why do they call it ISO? Well, it's actually derived from the Greek term ISOS, which means equal. Whatever the country, whatever the language, the name is always ISO. Now that obviously is going to be pronounced differently in different languages. In English, we say ISO. In Spanish or French or other languages, they probably say ISO, and there are probably other pronunciations as well. However, it's always spelled the same, ISO in capital letters. But it's not an acronym, so it's not pronounced ISO. It's actually a word, it's derived from the Greek word isos, so it's pronounced ISO. So while it probably would have made more sense to use a descriptive term like sensitivity or something like that to refer to the sensitivity of film or of the camera sensor, what we actually wound up with was the name of the organization that came up with the numbering standard, ISO. So that's the answer to the mystery of why we call it ISO and how it's pronounced. If you're interested in more pedantic trivia to impress your friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.